Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario related to screen flow. Let's understand the scenario first, which uh, we are going to see uh, through a uh, flow builder. So here's the requirement, like uh, we need to copy fields like phone rating of account record into another account record. So on account record, we have these fields, phone and rating. So what we need to do, we need to copy values of phone and rating from one account record into another. So from the source record, flow will be launched, right? So if I open any account record, so their flow will be available. If I launch that flow, so that record will be considered as a source record from where phone and rating values will be copied and destination record user needs to select through flow. So flow will be showing a list of available records from that list user will select one record, which will be considered as a destination record. So this scenario helps you to understand how to use record choice set in screen flow. So I'm jumping to flow builder. So I'm going to create new flow. So I clicked on new flow and I'm selecting screen flow now and clicking on create, right? So here I need to create a screen flow. So first of all, I'm going to create a resource as a variable. API name will be record ID. Data type is text and available for input. So basically when I will be placing this flow on the account record page, so the account record, which I will be opening. So that account records ID will be available in this record ID variable. So in most of the use cases, we are creating this record ID variable. That's why it is created in this as well. Now I need to get the data of that account record. So I'm using get record element label of this is get account here object I'm selecting as account. Now I need to specify the condition. So ID of that account record should be equals to this record ID, right? And only the first record and automatically store all the fields. So basis on this record ID, the account record, all the fields will be queried through this get record element. Okay. Now I need to use a screen. So I'm labeling this screen as destination account. And here I'm going to have a pick list. naming it as select destination account, right? So source account, we will be opening from the UI and destination account, we will be selecting from this pick list. So here I need to click on new choice resource and I am selecting record choice set. So API name is account list, object is account, and here I need to provide the condition. So I'm providing condition as like, if active is equals to yes, only those accounts will be queried and they will be showed. If, if you want to fix number of like maximum number of choices, so you can put a value here, but I'm not uh, putting it uh, because I want all the uh, like records should be uh, available in the pick list. Now, choice label. So label I'm keeping it as account name. So if I click on pick list, so account names will be displayed as pick list values. And if I select any account name, so what field I want to consider as its value. So for that I'm using ID, right? And if I want to store any field into a variable, so I can do that, but uh, it is not required right now. So this way, this new choice resource as record choice set is configured. I'm clicking on done. So it is done. Now source record ID, we received through record ID variable. Then we fetched 
its data through get record. Destination record, we are going to select through this pick list. Now, we need to update the destination account record with the values. So I need to select update record. So update destination account. So I selected this option like specify conditions to identify records and set fields individually. So I selected account object now, if ID of account is equals to, so we have uh, that's pick list select destination account. Right, so if I uh, use this pick list, so this pick list will be selecting one particular account record. And uh, at the time of creation, we selected like, uh, if we select any account name, so its ID will be used for processing. So this select destination account pick list will be having actually ID. So if this ID is equals to account ID, it means that particular account record we need to update. So we need to update phone with the get account dot phone value. Get account means the get account element which we used uh, as per record ID. And here I'm going to use rating. So again, get account dot rating, right? So get account is considered as source and this phone rating is related to this record. So it is destination one and I'm clicking on done. So this way, this flow is created. Now I'm going to save it. So copy source info into destination record. And I'm clicking on save. Then I'm activating it. So if I go here and uh, if I edit the page, so I'm on account record page. So where I'm placing this flow. So this flow component is already available here. I'm just going to change the flow. So I'm selecting this one, copy source info into destination record. I'm enabling this record ID checkbox so that uh, the record ID will be passed to the flow. Clicking on save. So here you can see uh, this flow is available, which is showing uh, these account records. Now here, like if I'm on account 101, so this account record will be considered as source account record. So I need to go to detail and here you can see I am selecting rating as hot and uh, I am filling phone as let's say 11111 and clicking on save. So this is the value which is available on the source. Now. I'm going to select this account, let's say account 301. So this I'm considering as destination. So I'm clicking on next. So flow executed. Now I need to open that account 301. If I go to details. Okay, so here uh, rating and phone is not populated. So now if it is not working properly from the UI, so what you can do, you can debug this flow. So I'm just going to open this account 101 and from this URL, I'm copying this ID and I'm clicking on debug. So debug is the best way to identify why your flow didn't work properly. So here I'm passing the record ID. So it will be executing in context of this account record. So this account record will be considered as source. So I'm clicking on run. So here you can see uh, this, the record ID, which I passed, uh, it's a related record, like account record queried successfully. Now I am selecting this one destination and clicked on next. So here you can see it is updating this record and uh, values are uh, populating correctly. So but I don't know why it didn't work. So let me check it again. 
yes now you can see the values are available okay so actually it is working properly but it worked like when i debugged it so let me just uh, like right now what i'm going to do i am considering it as source account 301 right these values are available now i'm going to select any other uh, account let's say pyramid construction inc and clicking on next now i'm going to open that record yes now it is working properly so maybe at that time uh, it didn't refresh properly it worked but uh, it didn't refresh properly so you can see rating is hot and uh, phone number is what we provided so this way this flow is working properly so i hope you understood like how uh, the record from where we are running this flow is considered as source and the pick list which is showing the destination account record are considered as destination records so from source some selected fields are copying to destination record so this way i hope you understood how we can use pick list choice sorry record choice set so that we can show available records in the uh, screen flow so this is all about the requirement and demonstration.